Hi there, this is Adrian from tacticalprojectmanager.com and in this video I'm gonna talk about the project plan template um, that you find also in this article and I'm gonna tell you how to use it. So this is a very simple Excel based project plan and it's the one that I'm using also for my projects and these are big IT projects and it's really, this is really all that I use because when it comes to a project plan, I want to have some, something very simple, something that I can maintain in a very easy way. And I don't use other tools such as MS Project in general. There may be exceptions, but generally I prefer to use Excel. And why is that the case? Um, I want to have a project plan which is very easy to maintain so I, Excel, everyone knows Excel and I'm very familiar with it and I can make changes without uh, you know, going deep into the functionality and probably getting lost with changing something here and changing something there. So Excel is very straightforward, everybody knows it. The second advantage is uh, Excel based project plans like this one are very easy to share. So when I have a, my project plan is finished all I do is uh, export it, for example, as a PDF or just send the, the complete project plan to my project team on the stakeholders. Um, so this is very easy and they don't have to have MS Project installed on their computer. They can just open it from their PC. Let's start first with the structure. So how is this project plan um, built up? You see different columns uh, and the rows. So the rows are depict the individual phases, but also the tasks or work packages in a project. So in this example, I have three project phases. Uh, first one is the concept phase, then uh, there's an implementation phase, and there's a closing phase. So this is a general template for, a, for any project, but in this case I'm referring to an IT project. What you also see on the, in the column B, C and D, um, this is uh, titled Team Involved. So here I have different um, columns for the people who are, or for the teams who are working on each of the tasks. So I, it helps me for planning. And um, I have here included three type of teams. So we have a process team and an IT team and a vendor. So the process team is generally like in, in most projects, you have like a, a business side, you know, business colleagues from the business teams. Then you have a technical team like engineering or IT. And you're also working with external vendors or service providers. So just by setting here the X uh, next to a specific task, I know immediately which team I have to talk to. Then we have the uh, timeline, which is depicted here on the horizontal axis. And the, this template follows a week-based structure. So for every calendar week, uh, there's a separate column, yeah? So the the months depending on the the how many days a month has uh, these are a month has uh, four or five columns and really all i have to do to draw this project plan is by changing the color of a specific cell so you see here the project kickoff uh, takes takes place in the middle of january um, two weeks. I don't know why I made this uh, for two weeks. It's normally just a, a single day where you have the kickoff, but maybe includes the preparation. So anyway, there are two weeks that are marked here in blue. And then it continues with workshops with extend over the period of three weeks and so on. And, and you can see how these tasks relate to each other. Some start in parallel and others are just, you know, dependent on each other. So the next start task can only start once um, another task has been finished. So like in a typical Gantt chart. And what else do we have? Well, the tasks are 
marked in blue and you also see these or uh, these uh, red boxes red cells and these are milestones so in every project you have certain milestones that that have to be achieved and that are usually predefined uh, this can be like very important meetings or also checkpoints that you include. So the first uh, milestone in this example is the project, the first project status meeting, which is taking place in the first week of March. And you, you can see that in, at the end of each phase, I have included here this kind of red cell, which is a project status meeting. So this is really just an example. What else do I want to show you? There are two rows here at the top of the sheet. Um, they are called here national holidays and local holidays. Um, so in these rows, which you can extend, of course, you can add rows here. Here I generally include uh, like national holidays, local holidays, but also important parallel projects. Um, just by highlighting the cell. So in this way, I know, okay, in this week, there's maybe also a national holiday. So that means I only have four work day, working days, especially when I make my first version of the project plan, I have to take that into consideration. So a task which should take five weeks, uh, sorry, five days to complete, and if there's a holiday in between, it has to expand over two weeks, in fact. So this is a very nice way to visualize not just your project, but also the related projects and the other you know, important dates that somehow interfere with your planning. Note that it's very easy to uh, extend and to customize this template based on your requirements. So you can just add more columns or more rows. Um, you may have to, of course, draw these, these bold lines uh, when you add new, new rows or columns, but that's just a formatting issue. So it's very easy to add new information depending on your project, whatever you need, you just include it here. Um, one more tip, I would also recommend that if you store this file on a shared drive that you um, include a, um, like a password so nobody can uh, beside you, nobody beside you can edit this file. Of course, you, you as a project manager, you want to be the only one who makes changes here. But if you don't want to share the whole Excel, you can easily export a file as a, as a PDF, like in a in a large uh, paper form and format. So you can also print it or send it around. And I also make screenshots from of this project plan and I include it in my PowerPoint, for example. It's very easy. Now, a question you may have is, what level of detail do you use in this project plan? Do you uh, add really like very detailed level of tasks or do you keep it more general? Personally, I I like to keep it more more general. So what I do is, for example, I have here a task which is called migration of test data, which is a big task, obviously, and um, there are more there may be more subtasks involved in that. And I don't I don't go into that detail here because I just want to see I just want to show here in the project plan in general where on the timeline this task is scheduled at. And the more detailed subtasks I include in my task tracking sheet or my, in my to-do list, which is also an Excel template that you find in Technical Project Manager on the, in the template section. So, so this way I never lose track of the tasks uh, that are currently taking place and I have, I have a perfect overview. And this file, this project plan, I, I don't update like on a daily or even weekly basis. What I do, I create it, I create an initial version, I make some changes to it during the project setup phase. And maybe, maybe as, if things change, like some tasks take longer or you reschedule something, then I make changes, but usually this project plan stays the same 
for many, many weeks or even months. So I hope this introduction was helpful to you if you have any questions about the plan, how to use it, but also in general how you should set up a project plan, then uh, email me at adrian at tacticalprojectmanager.com and I'll get back to you.